Hello, Oracle Dragon Star here with the Venus and Aquarius love reading. Um, how you can check your Venus is in Aquarius through your birth chart. Um, they have them for free on the internet. It can be Tropic or Vedic. Okay, Venus and Aquarius, let's start with how you feel towards your connection. We have the star card, which is Destiny Fate. Three of Wands, which is manifesting, kind of building, progression, planted some seeds. Looks like ecstasy, slowly revealing oneself. Um, Ten of Wands. Mm. Maybe you feel like there's a lot of people with masks around, not revealing their true selves. Or maybe you feel that way about them, that they're hiding their true self, not sure, revealing all their feelings and emotions. Um, it can be burdens. So, destiny with progression, with burdens. We have five of swords, which is conflict. Regretting something, dishonor, um, being in solitude, have the hermit going within. Being alone. And King of Swords, Independence, Standing in Truth, um, Not Taking Any Shit, Being Authentic, so let's see, how you feel about them? It's Destiny Fate. But there's three of wands as a burden. So either they're a burden or something that happened is a burden with maybe another person that was, you know, that is um, some type of dishonor that happened. And now they're going within, kind of being more alone to themselves, and, you know, being in the King of Swords energy, independent, standing in their truth, so, hmm, how they feel about you, Knight of Swords, so kind of hiding their feelings, hiding your feelings, or hiding their feelings about you, feel like they need to go to battle, kind of egotistic, heartbreak, that there's some kind of barriers, walls, um, Maybe feeling trapped with this heartbreak with you. Um, Empress, you maybe feel like you're the divine feminine counterpart. I have the lover's card. And temperance, so balancing, balancing emotions in the material world, so balancing the lover's relationship, 
with the Empress, True Heart's Desire, Divine Feminine, Heartbreak is connected to her, feel like walls and can't and kind of traps, but has the either you or them, they feel like. You know, being egotistical, wanting to battle or fight, and standing in their truth, even though it might not be the truth, but it's their perspective. Hmm. What are you hiding? Ah. You're either hiding that you know about a third party or the fact that you are in a third party situation. There's more people involved in this relationship. They're hiding um, a new project. They're also hiding the fact that they use their body or sex to get what they want. Um, and the Knight of Wands coming in fiery, passionate, but maybe leave quickly as well. And has a mask on, not revealing true self. Like, yeah, and fully clothed. Or like a new project in a person that is only out for like, you know, showing off themselves and sexual for money. Going towards the Queen of Pentacles. Or someone's coming towards them for their body. Hmm. How you feel in the relationship right now? We have the magician and the queen of swords. So manifesting, manifesting um, independence boundaries, standing up for oneself, um, being super open and vulnerable, but not to the point to where I ain't taking any shit. So that's how you feel in their relationship right now, how they feel in their relationship right now. Um, giving, kind of watching someone or being watched self-satisfaction being trapped in the self-satisfaction going in certain cycles in a certain relationship Eight of, eight of Swords, Trapped in the Mind, having like nightmares in the mind, or low vib vibrational thinking, thoughts, repetitive thoughts, and also this guy always, I don't know, just like, it's like thinking that like might got something. Like some kind of sickness, something going on, or some kind of disease, sexually transmitted disease, something. You know, it might be always how this person's feeling in a relationship, male or female. And then four of swords, like resting, bored, um, taking a break from craziness, conflict, 
like, maybe in timeout, <laughs> like, it looks like they're in some kind of prison, like, being held back, or can't escape, being trapped, and it doesn't look like they eating too much, either. But it has this, like, I don't know, really pissed off look on their face. Mm -hmm. Or maybe they feel, okay, they're watching somebody, you know, giving to someone. Maybe that someone... Either they or you are doing self-gratification. And they're like, oh, dude, I got something. You're like super pissed off. Feeling trapped, though. Like double trapped. There's, there's a whole bunch of, like, barriers. And you go in in cycles. So... There's how they feel in their relationship right now. I mean, that's what's going on, but okay. Um, what do you need from them? Two of Swords. It's like choices, making a choice, a decision. Um, it's kind of like someone wanting someone but they kind of look like they don't really you know it's, it's, it's like they're there you know revealing themselves but maybe they're not really wanting to that much but they're still there but you know wow. what do they need from you five of wands and seven of swords So, that's conflicts, arguments, competition, and, and this is like a like two people enjoying their each other's company and planning something, because Seven of Swords is kind of like, uh, like the thief card, not loyal, kind of like, might stab someone in the back, so, maybe you wanting to plan to stab someone in the back, some type of competition? have dinner and drinks and talk about this of this competition and planning on how to defeat the competition or this competition the relationship is built on nine of swords and we have the death card. So, Nine of Swords is... It was built on... Nightmares... Um... Anxiety... Stress... Uh... Someone feeding off of someone's energy sexually. It's like the person looks beautiful, but like is actually dead. And is sucking, it's like they're sucking the life from this person to make themselves have energy to be beautiful because in actuality they're really not. So it's built off death and rebirth, transformation, like transforming, and looks like an energy vampire. 
anxiety, I have anxiety, and, you know, freaking out all in the mind. What is the purpose of this relationship? We have nobility and supernatural. So, honor, high standards, idealistic. So, either realizing boundaries, having certain standards, realizing who you are, um... And supernatural is connecting to things more spiritually. Realizing that, you know, everything is both spiritual and physical. And connected to, that you're connected to source. Everything's connected to source. And if everything's connected to source, you know, being part of Source, that your spirit never dies, but every spirit is connected to Source. It's, it's, it's like every spirit is connected to Source, but like it's still individual because it's like made up of a whole a whole bunch of us it's like legion many the universe sources like the universe and there's like a whole bunch of different energies and so realizing real, realizing supernatural outer worldly stuff and having an honor realizing honor having high standards you know standing on your boundaries Okay, an advice for this relationship and other relationships that are around you. Independence. I embrace total independence and I see how empowering that is. Even when I'm in a relationship, I can still be independent by meeting my own needs and creating my own happiness. When I do that, I'm the fullest version of myself and I have much more me to give without needing pieces of me in return. So yes, not like needing someone to love you to feel loved and knowing that you already are love and you know loving self first that that's what will really bring you love as well is loving who you are and having things that you love to do and having time for yourself and then you can enjoy someone else's company as well because they can't just do everything to make you happy like you have to have you really have to be happy within yourself perfect match congratulations you've gotten your and everybody everyone else's wish this is an auspicious sign that's a healthy authentic relationship is either here or on its way this is the sort of relationship where you don't have to compromise, settle, sell out, or otherwise be a non-you. This is a relationship anchored in truth and love that neither party will have to hide their farts from. Smells like a special duo. So yes, either this relationship that you're in, which I'm not sure. I mean, it says that you feel like it. It's destiny, fate, but hiding a third party relationship, I don't know, you know, everybody's, but it looks like, um, the other partner's not too happy with that, so, I don't know, it's, like it said, either your perfect match is here or it's on its way with someone else. Okay. Well, I hope that resonated and gave you some kind of clarity. And if you enjoyed this reading and message, hit the like button. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, subscribe. And make your day amazing. Bye.